How's it going guys, Do here, and this video is all on the new patch in Dauntless, which is going to be patch 0.8.2. So starting off we have what's new to Dauntless. You have a third die region, you can now die three different channels for your armor, three die channels, it's going to be pretty cool. You can actually, it's going to make it so all those pieces that you couldn't die before, like those grays and like all those random colors that were just there and taking up a lot of space in your armor, that is hopefully going to be dieable. So now you'll have a much greater surface area to die on your armor, and it's just going to be better for all the fashion slayers out there. Next up you have bug reporting, so slayers can now report bugs to the in-game help sub menu, and when you're reporting a bug, try and be as detailed as you possibly can to give as much help as you can to the devs to actually understand what you're saying. And for hunt board details, behemoth strengths and weaknesses are now viewable from the hunt board. This should help slayers better plan and prepare for hunts. This is a major improvement for all the new players. This is going to be dope, because now you can say, oh this, this behemoth has this this weakness, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go ahead and craft that real quick because I don't have it. But moving on to quality of life, you're gonna have a lot of things that are for, I think, the console players, which is a huge thing. So, improved performance for Charak, Hellion, Valmer, and Rizakiri. Before you ask, this is not the final performance improvement for these behemoths. We will continue to work and improve these going forward. This is the optimization. This will not stop, this will keep improving, it'll keep happening. And it's cool it's already it's cool it's happening this fast for console players and i think everyone, everyone in general it's not just console folks but it's cool it's going to happen to everyone this fast because especially on console those folks were not having a good time fighting uh uh scorched on hellion and uh those behemoths but made multiple optimizations to visual effects and behemoths to make them less resource intensive this should help lead to an improvement performance on hunts optimization man added a shimmer to invisible carabacks they should now be a little easier to see when enraged so Karabak goes invisible during its enrage, it's like a camo, and it's hard to see, especially on frost maps. It is, it's like playing Where is Waldo, but you're finding a giant freaking wasp. It's uh, interesting to say the least. In wait, introduce fixes for the most common crashes that players were running into on all platforms. Go ham. Cancel matchmaking and skip matchmaking should now work as intended. Thank the lord. I was experiencing these queues of 8 minutes consistently before. It's not happening recently, but uh, when the servers were still getting fixed and like sorted out, eight minute queues to just not have a, a, a match found. It was rough. So this is awesome. And you can now cancel matches like, oh, hey, this is taking forever. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel or skip or all that stuff. Like actually do it before you find the match. Uh, fixed a bug where changing your lantern on the airship could cause its UI to disappear during the following hunt. This happened to me in a video, I think actually. I didn't even notice it until I, I didn't notice it until I actually published the video, but whatever. The middleman will now show the correct price for A, unlocking new cell slots, and B, speeding up cooks. By the way, to unlock the additional cell slots, the left one I think costs 500 platinum, and the right will cost 1000 platinum. Pretty sure. Uh, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna double check that later though. Fixed a bug where slayers could get stuck in the hunt pass screen. I got stuck in that screen, I also got stuck in the, uh, the move list screen. I got stuck in those two. Fixed a bug where some slayers could see and craft the previous pre-0.0 versions of Moon River Strike weapons. I actually upgraded mine twice. I spent 2 million notes. I knew what I was doing, and I'm curious if I'll get my notes back. If I don't, my, my RAM's back. If I don't, it's whatever, but it'd be cool if I did. Anyway, using Ezo Sam, using Ezo Sam will no longer execute the hammer standing blast or incorrectly place a single ammo land breaker. This is a bug fix. And it's also a, you know, it's it's fixing the hammer. It's not nerfing the hammer, it's fixing it. Because this was dumb. You were getting a guaranteed freaking land breaker every time you ate the slammed. It's crazy. Molten Edict Hammer will now correctly and consistently spawn its firewall again. You can now make meatballs, okay? You can make the meatballs as much as you want. And this will make it to where I can actually make a video on the Molten Edict now. Because I was going to make one, but it was bugged, so I decided not to. So I'll make one after my, after my Godhand video now. Slayers who have their, their system language set to Polish... I don't really... Yes. A fixed bug where players couldn't equip the Death's Head or Sky Anchor Sigils. Also, yes. A fixed bug where some TVs would clip the corners of the HUD depending on overscan settings. You should now, you should now be able to see your compass. Alright, you can be Dora now. Just find the map. A fixed bug where opening the move list on the airship. See? It, it's fixed. Okay, that's what I was talking about. Also. Held actions, gathering, healing at Aether events should now correctly complete when their meter is filled. This Aether event no longer tastes of fear. Yeah, so that was getting to, a, it was getting to the point to where you'd hold to, you know, pick up an object or use the Aether event and it would continue to cast, but it wouldn't finish. So, uh, 
it was rather annoying. Fix the bug where using a keyboard to navigate this store could result in the wrong item being selected. Unlucky. The Sylvan Barrel Mastery card will now display the correct icon and background. Yo, so man, that, that barrel sounds weird to me. I don't know about you guys, but the Sylvan Barrel for the repeaters sounds awkward. It sounds it sounds strange to me. Interrupt indicators will now correctly display any time a behemoth is in, in an interruptible state, interruptible state on all platforms. A lot of folks have asked me, hey, Doe, how come you can see those little marks and I can't? I thought it was like a, a settings option. Like, okay, yeah, your quality's are low, you can't see it. But I guess it's just... It was uh, not working as intended, so hopefully that's, that's fixed for all y'all. Fix the bug where visual effects could end prematurely and abruptly. I didn't really notice that, but that's good. Fix the bug where slayers could go invisible when browsing certain menus. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. The League of Extraordinary Slayers with like invisible dudes like that movie. Fix the bug where the end of hunt survey could get cut off if the player was mid-answer. I haven't got one of those recently. I want to I wanna vent, alright? Re raise Razorwing Carabac's health to its intended level. Oh, it was... Okay, that makes sense. Carabac was getting destroyed. But this is going to be lame, because I don't like I don't like Carabac. The health has increased. The fight's going to be longer. <sighs> Unlucky. Fix the bug where the armor crafting screen would show an incorrect resistance rating for the armor level plus 11 and up. Again, I didn't really notice this, but I guess. I guess it's a... Uh, show an incorrect resistance rating. Okay, yeah. I see that now. Add the ability for slayers to customize their appearance from the personality menu, but you can still make Gregario happy by visiting his mirror. If you don't know, you can customize your character. Before you had to go to the mirror, you could like customize your, whether you look like a, uh, a male or female or whatever, like, you know, your, your physique. You could customize your hair, all that stuff. Now you can do that from the personality menu on the, you know, by hitting escape, go to personality, or hit can on the keyboard, and you can do that now. Fix the bug that caused the camera to reset into the sky when exiting the hunt pass screen. And finally, Fix the bug that caused beards to show through certain helmets in the loadout, personality, and store screens. And lastly, known issues, Warpack users may get stuck in the Piercing Fury combo finisher. They're working on that. Anyway, that's this video. I'll be releasing a goddamn video, like I said, soonish. But guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like it, leave a like. And if you like my reading, you know, consider subscribing to the channel, because I read, I read a lot here. And uh, if, you don't, if you don't know, I do show on Twitch. It's at Odo. It's just my name and after broadcaster and finally i have an epic game support credit code it is again just odo if you use that in the epic game store or when you're buying platinum it helps me out a lot and i'd greatly appreciate it if you don't use my code use someone's code preferably adults partner because they make content for the game and that you know it helps out everyone but thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next one peace